Hey guys, welcome back to Hanging Out with Lori. I'm Lori. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, thanks for coming back. I appreciate that you're here. Today is my first update in the Budget Beauties Project Pan. This is being hosted by the Pantastic Ladies Facebook group. It goes from October 17th to January 17th, and we were to pick four to six budget-friendly items. So I picked six as an overachiever and that they are all budget friendly. So let's just start with the first one because it is in my hand and I have to wear my glasses and I've tried to put the camera so the glare isn't really hitting them, but it doesn't matter what I do, it's gonna glare. So sorry about that. My first one is this Essence Out of Space Stories nail polish in space glam it's a beautiful rose gold and i like this because it changes the color of your nail polish and i didn't mark it last month but i am about right there i've used it just a couple of times if that um so i will mark it after this but I'm about right there. I don't expect to have this finished before the end of the project, but I wanted to um, make progress on it. And this was $1.49 for this bottle, so that is seriously budget-friendly. Then the next item I have is this Maybelline Master Fairy Highlight. It is this beautiful rainbow highlight. This was actually gifted to me by a friend when I first got into highlight. And so that's budget friendly, but Maybelline is such a budget friendly um, brand anyways. But I love this rainbow highlight, as you can tell. I haven't made significant progress at all. I have used it throughout the month, but I swirl it around the whole rainbow instead of just doing one strip. So, yep, I don't see any type of progress, but hopefully by the end of this project, I will see more. Then I have a face mask. I put a sheet mask in here for the sole purpose of at least I'll get one done by the end of the first month. No, I have this Yes to Cotton comforting mud mask yes cotton is very budget friendly i think i paid $1.99 maybe $2.49 for this and so i do like this brand and so i need to use this mask the next item is the cetaphil moisturizing cream hand lotion it was right here when i brought it in I brought this in because Cetaphil, it is a little more on the pricier side at, you know, the drugstore, but it, um, it still is very budget friendly for being great for eczema and overly dry skin. It's still very budget friendly for that type of lotion have not made any progress expected to have this one done this month and didn't get it done then my catrice liquid metals eyeshadow in the name satina vander wooten i love the name that is it right there my goal on this is just to wear off the print because if you can't tell it's not only waffled but it also waves across and so my goal was just to wear off that print now I have found that this is like really hard packed so even picking up any type of color is really hard and so it's kind of frustrating so that print is not coming off as quickly as I thought I wear it quite often. In fact, I have both of this and the rainbow highlight on today as my highlight. And that's what I usually wear this as, is my highlighter or 
inner corner, but I do like this. I got this on sale, I want to say for like $2 at Ulta, so that is very budget friendly. And then the last thing was two deluxe, it was a deluxe eye sample of Pantene's Dream Care Shampoo and Conditioner. And these are very budget friendly. You can purchase these at your local drugstore, Walmart, Target. Anyways, I finished the shampoo on November 19th and I finished the conditioner on November 26th. So usually it goes the other direction, but not this time. But I just use this to shave with. So these were these were really um, good. I really liked the scent. I really liked the shampoo. Um, the conditioner wasn't strong enough for my hair. I need a really um, very hydrating conditioner. Um, and this wasn't quite hydrating enough, but it was still good conditioner. But the shampoo was really nice. I really liked that. So I have five items left in two months. I know I can at least get a couple of those done. But that is my update for Budget Beauties. It's very quick. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It would mean the world to me. And if you are not already subscribed, we would love for you to join our family. Just hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload. And if you have any questions or comments or ideas for upcoming videos, please leave them down in the comment section. I read them all and I try to comment to all of them because it means the world to me that you take a moment out of your time to talk to me. So I try to respond reciprocate that. You guys take care and I will see you on the next one. Bye.